What is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Supreme Retail Resale Price Estimations Full Drop List Review Video. And this time we're talking about week 3, Spring Summer 2020. And this week is freaking highlighted by the North Face collaboration that honestly I didn't expect to happen this soon. Like week three already, we had bangers during week two. I mean, it was, it was a decent week. It wasn't nothing crazy, but it was a really decent week highlighted by, of course, the Air Force One Supremes. But this time we got North Face, we got retails, we got resale estimations, so we got a lot of good stuff in this video. We got lookbook items as well, which are going to be somewhat of a pass, but we'll see how it ends up going throughout this video. We'll, we'll go through it all, but before I start, I want you guys to know Two free giveaways going on right now. One of them, I think they're both about to end tomorrow, actually. So make sure you get your entries in right, right, right now. We got the Nike SB Strange Love Dunk Low giveaway going down. What you all you gotta do is follow me at Thomas Furco, follow at Harlem Reseller, like the post of me wearing the Strange Loves with the S logo Supreme Pink hoodie. It's Soho, you know what I'm saying? Soho vibes. Uh, and then you all you gotta do is tag three friends in that picture, as I said, and then you're automatically entered to win. Uh, we have about a thousand comments on each which it might be a little bit difficult to get so therefore we're going to do more prizes in next month's giveaway we want to give back for 2020 so thank you guys so much and the other giveaway is for the premium discord uh one free month membership and after that you have the option to actually end up paying and staying in if you would like you don't have to but if you would like uh, and by the way if you guys want the free group all you gotta do is send me a screenshot if you subscribe to this channel right down here basically this group will help you with like announcements such as important info like stuff that's dropping right away like supreme Red registration and all that other you know helpful info that you do need throughout the day and of course the premium does offer way more but that's also because i do have to collect money in order to pay for all the expenses and stuff like that so hope you guys check it out thank you guys so much and also before i start three biggest announcements as always with the supreme retail resale price estimations videos a undercutting please do not be part of that community that just ruins it all for everybody like the sakai's today that's just terrible I know there's a lot of pairs out there, but that doesn't mean you have to panic and undercut. There's no reason to panic anymore. Uh, you get your pairs, you're going to find a buyer. Like, it's such a big market out there. You can easily find a buyer. Not easily, but you can find a buyer. Like, it's not easy as it once used to be. You can't charge as much as it used to be because of the undercutting, but it's definitely just don't be panicking out there. Trust me. Just sell to the guy outside the establishment if you're going to panic the StockX. You might as well let some other dude make money than StockX. You know what I'm saying? Just benefit the, the community as a whole. Uh, and second of all, I do state my opinion in this video, so don't get offended. And third of all, if you want that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing on this Thursday's drop, make sure you hit that red box to go down below. That subscribe button right down there for that good luck, that good karma. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, then you'll hit that box to go this Thursday potentially if there's one dropping. Ooh, ooh, StockX really dubbing all my packages today. That's sad. They dubbing it all. That's very, very tra tragic. So, anyways, we're about to pull up the entire drop list for this week. And as I said, it is highlighted by the actual uh, North Face collaboration that's also in part with RIG, if I'm not mistaken. RTG, RTG, and we'll get into that at the end. So the way we're going to do this, we're going from least hype to most hype, at least resale to most resale. So I'm going to just move over just a bit. First up, we got the Worldwide Mesh Back 5 panel dropping in 5 different colorways for it being a 5 panel. What a coincidence. So clever out there. And this graphic is pretty much just simple. Supreme Worldwide does have a globe on it with number 1 as well in gold. Uh, 5 different colors. As I said, Easy Pass is going to be sitting on shelves for quite some time. Uh, then we got the Printed Plaid shirt, which we're retailing, which will be dropping in 3 different colorways of yellow and purple, a blue and gray, and then a red and black. Uh, this is also going to be another easy pass. They drop these once every few weeks. Another plaid flannel shirt from Supreme. And it's also pretty expensive. It's around $118 to $128, depending on the actual shirt itself. But it does vary between that spread, and it's definitely, in my opinion, at least not really worth it at the end of the day because of the fact you can just buy a simple ass one without without the Supreme branding, yes, but it's going to be much, much cheaper. And the hat is expected to retail for $48. Then we got the Qualite sweater, which has looked like to be French. It's French inspired, Francois. I think that's how we say it out here. Uh, this one's expected to retail for $138. It's a sweater. It's typically going to be like the same sweater that, like the New York sweater that dropped during week one. Same type of material and quality. It looks like there's only going to be, oh, three different colorways a navy. Um, looks like to be a purple maroon. That's actually kind of fire, though. I do, I do mess with this. It looks like it's like a. It looks like it was taken straight off like a bootleg, uh, like branding. It looks like it was taken like from a hardware brand. To be honest with you, it looks like it was. It's weird. It looks like a paint brand because it's Qualite, 
I'm assuming it's quality in French. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's not going to be worth much, but it's definitely a cool personal piece. Then we got the Chex Embroidered Jean and Denim Jacket. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the Gons thing, the Gons map pieces that dropped last season in the shorts and this hooded sweatshirt and the jeans. It looks almost damn identical, but except this time there's no maps on. It just says void, big in branding. And it's all cotton 14 ounce denim with embroidered embroidery kills it. That means it's gonna be very, very expensive. And it's gonna be embroidered pattern and fill quilted to fit the lining, full zip closure at hand pockets. As I said, two different colorways for the jeans and the jacket. Uh, expect the retail for the jeans is around gonna be $198. Jacket might even be close to $298. Just because it's embroidery, and when they kill it with the embroidery, they kill their price as well. Uh, then that leads us to the Gems Hooded Sweatshirt, dropping in a few different colorways. We've got a purple, a black, a white, a blue, and an orange. Syracuse orange. Can oh, it's like a UNC blue, but the orange definitely is going to match with the Syracuse Dunk Lows coming out this weekend. Uh, it's cotton fleece with Gem Applique logo. Uh, the logo itself is nothing too special. It reminds me of the Gem stuff they've done in the past. And if you guys look at the recent trend, Gem stuff just doesn't hit anymore like it once used to. It's just going to be an easy pass, mainly for the personnel. We act in French out here, yeah. So pretty really inspired me to act French. Next up, we go on to the color block zip up hooded sweatshirt along with the block sweatpants. Three different colorways. We've got red, black, and gray, then a black on black, and then a turquoise blue with natural and green. Now, this was rumored to release last week. However, it is now coming this week. And I was, I said last week, I was personally going to definitely want to pull a trigger on these because it reminds me of the color, the panel track jacket and pants that released during week one. And I love that design. However, after looking at this one, I was like, yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe the black sweatpants just because it's a little bit more simple colorways. The other colors are just too bright and too obnoxious in my opinion. They don't really flow. Now, if they did a red, green, or if they did a green, black, and gray colorway like the Gucci vibes, then I would have probably pulled the trigger on it just because I love that colorway. However, this one is just like simple. An estimated retail for the sweatpants are approximately $138 along with this hoodie being approximately $158. Resale might be there just for a little bit around maybe $180 to $190. But other than that, it's a pass. And pretty much everything else we've talked about at the moment is essentially a pass if you are going strictly for the resale and the profit. Uh, then that leads us to the Arc Applique SS top dropping in multiple different colorways and the branding is popping along the chest. We have a black, red, mustard yellow, a striped black, and then a beautiful looking violet purple. It's an all cotton jersey. Branding is popping very, very bright. And with this one, it is a higher quality t-shirt, so I expect retail to be a bit more at around $78. That's typically what they do retail for when they are this better quality material. Uh, and at, as a result, the big branding is popping, but with $78 retail, I could see them going max to around $100 to $110, $120, the max, max. And that's if you're getting a size small in the black colorway or in the purple. Like if you look at the purple and pinks, size small does really, really well because it does attract a lot more female people, uh, female customers, consumers to the game. And typically they will have to end up paying resale at the end of the day. That's just how it be. Uh, then we got the Supreme BB Simon belt. One of the most anticipated accessories of this season we got coming out in week three. Oh, we got a white, a black, and a red colorway. We got, this is, this is going to be crazy. Italian leather belt with Swarovski crystal studded pattern, metal applique logo on back and buckle, buckle handmade in the USA for Supreme. First of all, BB Simon made in the USA for Supreme. $598 retail is what I'm telling you for a damn belt. You know, more than Louis Vuitton, if I'm not mistaken. I never caught Louis or Gucci belts because I find them to be a little bit obnoxious. But, but this belt is the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen in my life. Popping Supreme branding on the buckle and on the actual waist. Studded and Swarovski crystals. This is something you have to know how to pull off. Like, you can't wear no regular fit with this. You gotta have something crazy come down. I see mainly only rappers, to be honest, and musical artists and talents and celebrities rocking this belt. If you're just a regular person rocking down the street, I respect you. I respect your game, but you gotta have, be having some sort of crazy ass fit on. And at least that's literally it just for the lookbook. Like, lookbook is pretty small besides the fact of the Supreme North Face collaboration. So, we are gonna get right into the actual utility pouch, which will be expected to retail for approximately $58. And as a result, resale won't be much because of the fact it's just a regular pouch. It doesn't attract too many people to it, but I could see going for around 75 to 80 bucks. Definitely a cool piece to. To go on especially if you're going in store because when you're going in store you don't have to pay that ten dollar tax and i don't expect these to go under retail within the first day of it releasing i do expect to do somewhat decent at the beginning 
Four different colorways will be the same colorways for the entire collection. We got lime green, yellow, salmon, and black. Black is always a safe bet to go for. It's something that everyone will wear. If you want to sell locally, if you want to sell with CockX, if you want to sell on eBay, it's always a safe bet to go for because black is black. It's not like people hate it like lime green. Might not attract a lot of people just because it's so bright and a pretty obnoxious color at the end of the day. So that's utility pouch right there. And then that brings us on to the actual backpacks, which you can tell you expect to retail for approximately $168, $178. And at the end of the day, it might come out to around like $200 with shipping and tax. $200 for a backpack like this is pretty expensive, but keep in mind this season is a collaboration with RTG. Uh, it's a backpack 35 liter backpack. And it looks like it comes in two parts as well, just how the actual jacket comes in two parts. And I think that's what they're basing this entire backpack off is the jacket, because if you notice, we'll get into the jacket in a bit, the jacket comes in a vest and the regular jacket. Now this backpack comes with a small pouch on top with the Supreme bearing on it. And then it does come with another bag on under it, like two bags in one. And you can see there's Supreme bearing on both bags, which this bag might make it a cop for me just because it's essential bag for hiking, going outdoors, and it's a big ass bag. So it can definitely fit a lot of good pieces. Like, you know, camera, 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 computers, and wires. That's all you really need. Uh, then that brings us onto the t-shirt, which is probably the least profitable and least hype piece out of the entire collection, which has it's weird. I actually don't like this t-shirt at all. It has a fake ass vest on it. I don't know why they're so obsessed with vests during this collaboration, but ayo, hey, it is what it is. I can't control what they put out. Uh, it's RTGT. It's actually on a Supreme t-shirt, which is pretty uncommon. Typically, these collabs are printed on a North Face material, and it looks like this is going to be a Supreme t-shirt, which is a little bit thicker than the North Face material and does fit a bit, uh, a little bit different, a little bit smaller. But this is a vest. It looks weird as hell. It's the same vest that's going to be on a jacket. I think it's a terrible piece in my opinion. But retail will be around $54 and resale should be around 70 to 60 bucks. I don't see a lot of people going for this one just because of the fact it's a really bad, bad design. Uh, then that brings us on to another accessory, which is the balaclava. Now, this balaclava does look very similar to ones they've done in the past. Not the most recent, but definitely one thing they've done in the past with the Supreme branding just going straight along the dome. Multiple different colorways along the face, but don't worry, this will not protect you against the coronavirus because it does have holes in the mask. Therefore, that bacteria would just come floating in there and you're going to get infected. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't matter if masks don't help at all. So it don't matter at the end of the day. But if you actually do want to cop a good piece that's breathable, that doesn't fog up or steam, especially if you wear glasses like me, this is a really good piece to go for. And retail on this one is expected to be at around $88. I could see resale going around 120 to 130 But after that, it'll start to go down in price. And remember, remember, it is about to be summer. A lot of people aren't thinking about cop and jackets right now. A lot of people think about summer shorts, sweatshirts, and maybe sweatshirts, actually, like shorts, t-shirts, and that's just about it. Which is why I'm surprised they're releasing an RTG collab for the summer. It don't really make much sense to me, but I guess they have their own like, you know, schedule of lineups they got to complete. Then we go on to the fleece gloves, which is something I'm definitely going to be pulling the trigger on because these fleece gloves are in collaboration with Gore-Tex as well. Branding is absolutely perfect. You can't get much better branding like this except maybe all over Jacquard print, and they've done that before. Four different colorways, as always, a lime green, yellow, salmon, pink, and black. Uh, retail on this is expected to be around $98, which is pretty expensive for gloves, but fleece gloves typically do retail for this much, especially if they're from the North Face. But then again, you could just go to Marshall's or pay not pay less but marshall's burlington and get fleece gloves for around like 20 bucks and it, like you're paying once again for the brand and that's why everyone's so into this but i see resale going to around 120 to 130 dollars similar to the balaclava but remember a lot of people aren't thinking about buying gloves or balaclavas during the summer season then that brings us on to the supreme north face rtg turtleneck which we're retailing for approximately uh, $98, which is pretty, pretty cheap. And there's going to be multiple different colorways. We got a black, a salmon, a mustard, a green, and a white. Now, the white doesn't drop in many other pieces, just the turtleneck. It is a pretty cool damn turtleneck. Now, I'm not a fan of turtlenecks. I've never wore a turtlenecks. Uh, I might end up pulling the trigger on some turtlenecks. Shout out Chris D'Elia for putting me out to turtleneck game. Uh, and I see the branding is absolutely popping along the neck. The only branding, it's nice, simple, and clean. You can see it. It's not too hype beasty. Quote unquote, it's not too hype beasty. It's not too obnoxious. It's nice, simple, clean branding along the neck. And if people see it, they see it. If they don't, they don't. You move on. And it's nothing like a damn box logo. But that also makes it only appeal to a certain amount of people. Like it appeals to me for sure because I like that simple, clean cut branding, not too obnoxious. 
Uh, but at the end of the day, I could see Risto going around $175. I could see this one being a good amount of profit just because, once again, it's a turtleneck. They don't jump often, and Brennan, I think, is perfectly on point. Now that leads us to the RTG jacket and vest combo. It's like you ordered a combo meal that you didn't even know was going to come into a combo. This is a jacket and vest. You cannot buy it separately. And as a result, retail will be approximately $600. And 98 damn dollars. You heard that right. 698 US dollars. Four different color rates. We got an all black, a salmon, a yellow, and a mustard. I mean, a mustard and a pale lime green. Now, I'm calling the colorway salmon. It looks to be sam. I have that accent on the word. I know. I know. It's, it looks like to be salmon. It does look like to be bright red, but it looks like to be a salmon with with gray. I think that colorway is going to be the top colorway of this of this collaboration. Then there's going to be black, then yellow, and then green. But we did see yellow do really, really well on this Statue of Liberty series. So yellow might make a big comeback for this collection as well. So that's why the best color I'm debating between is definitely between the salmon and the yellow, and then the black will be behind that. But remember, black is only one that's dropping in full black color blocking the rest of them have gray color blocking on it with a 698 dollars retail and it does come with a jacket and vest i could see prices maybe going to around a thousand thousand a hundred dollars but the time of tnf's doing like over a thousand dollars guaranteed is kind of over except if it's a limited ass nupsy like the pa crumpled paper one this one i wish i could see doing like more like around thirteen hundred dollars to fourteen hundred dollars because i really think it should be doing that much you should realistically and as I was saying, the days of getting double over retail or doubling retail on TNFs is pretty much over. Unfortunately, I wish it wasn't. I don't think it does deserve to be anywhere under $1,000. But with the current market, I could see going for under 1000 Best sizes are small, XL, large, and then medium. And that's typically the same sellout order that they'll, they will go in. But now we got the fleece jacket, which we retained for a lot, lot less than most people expected. Only $298. It doesn't look like to be the full fleece jacket that released, uh, I want to say, two seasons ago with Cordura and Gore-Tex. It seems to be a little bit of a thinner fleece, not as thick and cozy, but definitely is fleece material. It does come in the same exact colorways as the jacket. does not have a vest, though. Just a straight-up fleece jacket. Four different colorways, a black, salmon, yellow, and green. Same seller order, XL, I mean, small, XL, large, medium. Best colorways, I'm going to say right off the bat. It's either, I don't think Pale Lime is going to make a good comeback just because there's not a lot of shoes in the first place. Because typically, if there's a good colorway on jackets, they typically end up, they do well on resale. They typically match a good looking shoe. Yellow matches Unions. Yellow matches a lot of other good shoes out there. Pale Lime Green only matches like bright ass Vapor Maxes and like green shoes that a lot of people don't wear. The Salmon Pink kind of matches almost red. Uh, and so on. Black is always, once again, the safe haven. I would definitely recommend going for black if you just want to play it safe. Won't be the most profitable, but also won't be the biggest brick at the end of the day. So that's why I think uh, black is always a decent one to go for. Personally, myself, I'll be going for the, probably the Salmon Pink or the black. I think I'm going to stay away from yellow and green just because... I don't know. I just and also you can't go for the most hype colorway all the time because if you look at what happened in the Statue of Liberty series, the most hype colorway, the yellow, a break down four hundred dollars because resellers just panic and end up killing the market on them. So that's about it. Most profitable item is the jacket and vest. I see around an easy three hundred to four hundred dollar profit depending on the size and colorway you get. Fleece, I do expect to go up to around six hundred to seven hundred dollars. Nah, I'm gonna say around six fifty the max. I don't see it going for more than that. Unfortunately, that's still doubling your money though on a fleece jacket, which is still a really really decent margin you know what i mean balaclava you can make around 30 to 40 dollars the gloves another 20 to 30 dollars backpack i could see maybe going around 40 to 50 dollars a great hold backpacks do pretty decently over time and if you do hold the tnf jackets out so you're gonna have to hold it till winter or sell it right away just because the fact you look at what happened with the past jackets they went down exponentially and that's just about it from the lookbook I would mainly focus on none of it, to be honest. Maybe the ARC logo, I mean, the ARC Applique SS Top and the BB Simon Belt. I could see the BB Simon Belt potentially going for around $750, depending on how limited it is. I would definitely watch out for the EU sell times if you're in the US. And if you're in the EU, good luck to you. We're going to be watching what you guys do out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. We're